Morning, you sexy little TikToky bastard. Should we go through what's in the news this morning? Shall we? Okay, three, two, one. Let's start the joy. Tax dodging hate rag and former supporter of Adolf Hitler, the Daily Mail, are doing some of their trademark fine investigative journalism by retailing out a government press release. Rapists could be barred from early release. Sounds sensible, doesn't it? If you commit sexual violence on somebody and you're sentenced to seven years in prison, I would argue or agree that the public have an expectation that that person should be kept behind bars for all seven years. I do have just one question, though. If you keep them in for the full stretch, where are you going to put them all? Because you might not know this, because I, I don't know, maybe your eye was taken off the ball, sort of dragged over here to the crumbling education system. But the prison system is also horrendously underfunded, overcrowded and falling to pieces. So are the supposed party of law and order going to announce five billion to make prisons more comfortable for prisoners? I mean, it, it seems unlikely to me. I mean, they're not even spending money on things that would be vote winners like HS2 or fixing schools. Which means this is a load of, God, what, what's the word? Bollocks! Next up, it's the Telegraph. Army called in as firearm officers put down their guns. This follows the death of Chris Caber, who was shot to death by a Metropolitan Police officer. That officer will now likely be prosecuted and possibly jailed for murder. And these are his cohorts, his colleagues, who are putting down their firearms in solidarity with their buddy. And to plug that gap, the army is stepping in. I always feel sorry for the army. You know, whenever there's some big thing in the... Pe oh, army called in to help. You know, when it was food shortages in the pandemic, they were driving petrol and food to Tesco. And Imagine you're a professionally trained military driver. You're familiar with getting through war zones and avoiding mines. And then your commanding officer phones you like, I I Is that Robert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I need you to drive some bread to Slough Sainsbury's. Although, to be fair, parts of Slough are not un war zone like anyway as with any modern political development it's important to consider the nuances we do need armed response units they do need occasionally to make split second decisions but in that acceptance that we have to have these officers with guns comes another acceptance that occasionally very rarely with the wrong set of variables in the wrong scenario they could and do make mistakes. However, in my opinion, that doesn't mean they can't ever be charged with murder. And frankly, when the Home Secretary doesn't think the CPS can tell the difference between an oopsie and a racist murder. I don't know, if I was one of the armed police putting down my gun, I'd be like, I don't know, we, we don't want her. No, no, tell her to shut up.